Hi guys, Seamus here back again with a late night update on our heavy armor group build hosted by Giacomo and Marcus. It's the M3A1 uh, scout car. Now I've got the biggest majority of it done, I'm going to get it in the pre work very shortly here. Now the body and the chassis aren't glued together just yet. Um, I left it off intentionally. I'm going to just turn this off. Uh, we did open the doors and so forth and the hood. I was contemplating early on today as I said in the last video about hinging it but there's really no where to put any hinges so I didn't want to miss, miss them out too much with it. Um, nice week hit the build, very well detailed and um, everything just fell together. Um, our gun rail here, this one moves, I glued those over to in, in the position because they were just sliding all over the place, a bit of annoyance it was. Um, some foliage in our, our gas tanks, um, jerry cans what you want to call them, same as your side here. Um, we've got a full edge inside as well in the far corner. Um, left our steering wheel off as I said and our windscreen. Two front seats have to be put in yet. They're all left off intensely. So I can get room to get that screen in once all the prime room's done. Um, really lovely detail we kit. Um, last Ali Boss kit I built was the M1070 on the erect diorama. Uh, so this one is not together reasonably well as well. Really well, sorry. Um, Chassis, the transfer box, there's a protective cover to go over at just yet, and then our exhaust and so forth. And uh, we'll get that all done because they're all done in different colours. But as I say, it's really well detailed and uh, it just fell together this week. Hit. I'm not too keen on these plastic tyres. Uh, there is a bit of a weight um, pattern on it in a sense where they kind of sit flat, which is a nice touch. Our machine guns are all built model. Um, just sitting on one side, I re engine for it and we left that out until we get all the painting done. Then we can slide that in, get it glued in place, and get the rest of the bits of balls put on it. So let's go, guys. A um, few other uh, full edge parts of ground, like the fan for the engine and so forth, and a couple of other bits and pieces here I've checked there for. As I say, our gun wheels are all, or sorry, guns, machine guns, heavy machine guns are done. They're done a different colour. So there. Right, we'll get that out of the road. Um, the other part of this build, there's the back sort of it, um, is the hauser. There's some car drawings on it. So you get, I still have to put all the tools and so forth onto the armored car. It's a spade, shovel, and pickaxe and so forth. Get a couple of buckets, uh, containers, and whatever else. They all go on towards the end, like the, the accessory packs are down. So this is the hauser for it. Um, it's molded in grey. Um, there's a lot more to this actually, there's actually more to this than there is um, the armoured car. So there's a lot, lot, to, lot to be done to it. So there's, hopefully it will build just as well. And um, what else is it? Yeah, there's the grey there. So, We're going to get a crack at this now, so we are after we get this all done black, the, the M3A one. So we'll say we'll have, we'll have this finished maybe sometime this afternoon or maybe early tomorrow morning. Then we'll move on to our Sherman, which I showed earlier today. So we've three three builds all together in this trio sort of, sort of thing. So let's go guys, um, that's a quick update on our M3A one. So it's done out pretty well. So it looked nice when it's all painted and so forth and weathered. Right guys and why so thanks for watching and uh, we'll speak to you all later. Bye.